Hello, I'm looking for the master of the dungeon of Nahulbuk. And you have found him! My name is Rath, I'll be your daddy today. Now, for those of you watching the live stream, this is just a continuation of what we have been streaming. But for those of you on YouTube, welcome to episode 2 of uh, Nahalbuk's uh, Dungeon Master. Uh, we are back. We're continuing right where we left off in the last episode. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it so far. I haven't posted the last episode because we're still streaming it, uh, so I haven't seen any comments or anything. But um, feel free to like this video if you guys end up liking it. Uh, comment all the things. Let us know what your thoughts are, and subscribe for more. Let's keep going with it. Well, I am his steward. How may I help you? I'm here about the letter he sent to the Dungeon Owners Association of Fang. Oh, it definitely came back to bite us in the ass, didn't it? Are you going to publish his article on interior decoration? I don't know. This is a matter for the DOAF Gazette Editorial Board. I am Doris Martadella, Head Inspector of the Dungeons Fund. I'm here for your membership application. What? The DF? But... Uh, we didn't apply for membership. There must be some mistake. Your master wrote to the DOAF. According to DOAF regulations, any such communication is to be considered as a membership <laughs> application to its parent company, the Dungeons Fund, oh. unless expressly stated otherwise. So if you write fan mail or any kind of you know, mail to them, it counts as an application, and now you have to pay. But that's... Uh, oh, puss and boils! This is utter nonsense! What if we refuse to join? That is your right. In accordance with the DF regulations, as ratified through case law by all courts in the lands of Fang, we would be entitled to a compensation of 200,000 gold coins. <laughs> so he wrote some mail in, automatically applies as an application. If you don't actually want to apply, you have to pay 200,000 gold coins. Wow. 200? What? That's racketeering! Yeah. It'd be easier to join the DF like most proper dungeons. I will have your master sign the documents. Damn. A measly 412 scrolls for Damn. a small dungeon like yours. Damn. Pox and mutant rats! Absolutely. Relax! In my office! Immediately! I'm fired. General terms and conditions of servitude. Oh, God. The present GTCS, or General Terms and Conditions of Servitude, provide a legal framework for the activity of the steward of the dungeon of Nahobrook, a heron after the dungeon. Uh, they constitute a contract between Zangdar, heron after the master, and the recipient steward. The DF and its functions. The DF is an organization that oversees the activity of most evil dungeons and other adventuring venues in the lands of Fang. It structures adventures level progression in a rational administrative fashion and distributes the various experience points earned during quests universally and impartially. Individuals claiming otherwise disappear mysteriously. Okay? It encourages the development of heroic parties and rates the various dungeons according to their difficulty. Cool. To ensure harmonious progression and prevent total slaughter on either side. So you don't have like level 100 adventures going to a level 1 dungeon and vice versa. By complying with the DF standards and submitting to its quality controls, uh, dungeon owners receive a bonus for each adventure eliminated. Cool. Throughout this, they take part in the selection of the best champions, heroes, and other chosen ones by lethal siftings. Okay, so we take out all the common rabble and allow the chosen ones to progress up. The ultimate goal of the DF is to ensure that for each generation, an adequate number of adventurers of adequate level are available to deal with threats to the general interest, demonic plots, divine conspiracies, and other end-of-the-world scenarios, without harming the activity of dungeons as they remain important places for magical research, monetary accumulation, relic storage, and mushroom cultivation. Wow, what a balance of democ er, uh, capitalism. The present evil dungeon. The dungeon of Noahbrook is registered in the commercial register of evil dungeons, cred, uh, commercial, yeah, uh, under number 666999666 as an independent ex officio non affiliated dungeon practicing a mixed economy activity, activity generating income from communal commercial services and evil research through the practice of sorcery and adventures and trapping. Wow. The dungeon of Noahbrook. Its structure, fortifications, devious traps, and foul-smelling moats, as well as monsters, minions, slaves, and other idiots, are the property of the master. Um, 
The whole dungeon is governed by the laws of the lands of Fang for evil dungeon activities and the protocols determining the right to govern them all uh, and in the darkness bind them. Wow, nice. Govern them all and in the darkness bind them. That's Lord of the Rings if you guys don't know. Any representation, reproduction, use whatsoever, partial or total exploitation of the contents, slaves, undead, Ravax. Ravax! Uh, intel compromising grimoires, illustrations, banners, chickens, and other distinctive signs and services offered by the dungeon by any process whatsoever without prior written authorization of the master is strictly prohibited and would likely constitute an infringement as defined by articles L335-2 and following the Menzorian Code of Intellectual Properties. So basically, we can't do anything without the master say so. All requests pertaining to the above-mentioned written authorization must be addressed to the Dungeon's Central Office of General Inquiries under the direct control of the Master to be examined according to the standard administrative exemption circuit using the smooth or barbed wire whip if necessary. Wow. Where applicable, the user expressly and graciously hands all intellectual property rights pertaining to his or her person and the messages and content he or she publishes about the Dungeon over to the Master including the rights to publish, perform, and adapt any on any medium and in any form or unknown any form known or unknown to date in all of reality, <laughs> including chaotic and demonic planes, and for unlimited period of time. They also relinquish ownership to, of their mortal coil, which the master can dispose of if he sees fit, within the, the permissible limits of chaotic per, perversion defined by Snatch Chinas. Ecclesiastic tables, you figure B somewhere. Um, so basically, you don't write or anything or make any content about this place without the master say so. The object of this contract is the provision of a stewardship service in the dungeon by the candidate in exchange for rem remuneration. Remuner what does that mean? Indexed by the standard rates for administrative supervisory staff in non affiliated dungeon structures. Adjusted accordingly, according to the ethic equalization matrix applicable in the lands of fangs. I'm going to be honest, I don't know what any of that meant. This contract applies to an in indefinite period and may be terminated by the master at any time. According to his terms, conditions, and whims. The candidate commits to carrying out the tasks assigned by the master with loyalty, diligence, efficiency, submission, and licking of the boots. They will constitute the teams... The teams necessary to the fulfillment of their tasks and take care of non-magical administrative tasks uh, in the dungeon. So this is basically all saying we work for him in all manner. Uh, hey, keep it, it, this, <laughs> okay, this is not real, this is a different language, okay. Unenforceable laws and incompetent courts. Um, the present terms of use are subject to the Menzorian laws and customs applicable under the jurisdiction of the courts of the form of Glarg and to the legal provisions of any relevant religious rites by virtue of the inner clergy concordant agreement uh, signed under the watch of the Church of Judge Judy! Nice. <laughs> In the absence uh, of any mandatory provision to the contrary or in the eventuality of uncertainty in the determination of applicable law. What Menzorian laws and customs will be applied, including to non-human ethnic groups? Basically something, something, the gods, something. Any disputes that may arise concerning the validity, interpretation, acceptance, and observance of this contract, regardless of the place cons consultation, consultation, <clears throat> subscription or settlement will be answered by an attempt at amicable settlement or to an indomitable legal duel which both parties commit to carry out if they fail to do so within a period of 10 weeks through cowardice unavailability or trickery the courts of glarg shall retain all rights of judgment even in the event of warranty claims plurality of defendants recourse to the ecclesiastical form emergency or conserva conservatory proceedings Summary proceedings or proceedings by petition. The master retains the right to terminate this dispute by means of fireball to the other party's face at any time. So basically, don't do each other. Please read carefully before signing. Okay. Please read carefully before signing. Nice. By ticking the box, you accept 
uh, all the clauses giving the master full power over your miserable existence. Of course you do. Yes or yes in red. Of course yes in red. Wow. Congratulations <laughs> on joining the Dungeons Fund. I will now share with you all my initial reports requiring immediate action on your part. Wonderful. By Gazor tentacles! I can't believe we got played like this! Oh, I can already feel one of my migraines coming on. Relax! Deal with it! I've noted you lack a space dedicated to temporary interruptions of the activity of the staff, assuming the dungeon's ancillary functions. This can hurt their performance and the profitability of secondary revenue sources. I think they want a break room. Uh, you... Damn, my hermetic administration class seems like a lifetime ago. Are you asking for a break room for our minions so that they stop hanging out at the tavern? A crude simplification, but this would be a good starting point for a plan of action, yes. Okay. Um, the minion's morale gauge is influenced by three distinct needs. Room cleanliness, eating their fill, and entertainment. Okay, I paused. I'm going to back out of there because that's a lot of noise. Build a furnished break room. Okay, it's for the minions, so I'm thinking over here, because, right, you've got, this is uh, their canteen, their bathroom, their living quarters. Why don't we do a break room? We've got kitchen, we've got guard room, dormitory, canteen, break room. Here we go. Um, allows minions to have fun. The break room, the place where far, far magicians hide and where minions come to relax if they're too shy to go get their teeth shattered at the tavern. If Zangdar starts asking questions, just say it's a state-of-the-art fast-track production room. Sounds good. We're going to build this. We'll just do it like this for now. I don't know if it needs to be any bigger, but we'll start there. Um, reading desk. Game of chance. Game Games of chance allows dwarves and orc minions to use the gaming table. Okay, let's do... Do a gaming table in that corner and in this corner. Do um, a couple of writing desks over there, and we'll do uh, game of chance right there. Yeah, that goes. With a gaming table, the minions will get some distraction. Ah, kudos, my friend. That should stop them from wearing out the tavern benches. Okay, we have a break room. Done. A perfectly functional break room for the dungeon's minions. This is supposed to be an evil dungeon, not a resort for slackers. What's next? A temple of gloom complete with giant nap room? Nap room. Interesting. I shall continue to evaluate the performance of your organization's procedural subfunctions, as well as the effectiveness of any actions supporting your primary processes. What? Oh, kill me now! <laughs> yeah, right back. So I'm with you, bro. You're on the same page. Garden. We're just chilling right now? What are we supposed to be doing? Still need more prestige. What do you want? You want... What is this? Wrong, human. Smell like an elf. There's a mud pit in here. Go sit in the mud pit. Hey! Shouldn't we try to upscale the tavern while the pen pusher's still deep in her paperwork? If we <clears> take too long, we'll get our cash flow sucked dry by the whims of the DF. Hmm. It is true that getting a dungeon into compliance is very expensive. What would our tavern need to bring us more returns? Uh, make the tavern more profitable so that way we can afford to do all these things that they're asking of us. Got it. Well, I've had it with lugging bottles around. We need to be able to tap a few kegs. Then, get someone to serve the plunk and ale. Fast booze flow equals fast cash. Okay. Perfect. Let's take care of this while the master is busy elsewhere. You'll be grateful someday. Someday. Yep. 
And so will our purses. Let's booze up the whole country and rake in the coins. All this sobriety and moderation stuff is only good for monks and elves. Our tripe advisor ranking will soar. Tripe advisor, okay. It's like the tavern. The tavern's prestige is represented by tripe advisors, sausages, and important factor to attract customers. Sausages, okay. The attendance of the tavern varies according to the prestige and the drinks on offer. Each group of customers has its own drinks, pr drink preferences, which must be respected, otherwise they will leave immediately. Okay, um, select the accounting menu, dungeon management, ooh, dungeon management, market, quests, raids, inventory and sales, NAS crack, something here, and accounting. Okay, accounting. This menu lists the dungeon's income and expenses. It also shows the tavern's revenue, a convenient way of checking its profit profitability. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so what is blue? Tavern gains is going up. Total? Total what? Total is going up. Oh, I see. So that's the gains. But then we also have salaries. It's starting to come up a little. Green taxes has stayed the same. That's the blue. Tavern maintenance has gone down. Okay. And here you can see it all broken down. Okay. We are starting to lose some money. We don't nearly have as much as we used to. So yeah, definitely an expression of the magic of numbers and curves for some of of their whores for others. What about you? Some detailed report. Okay. Instruction. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. I like it. Um, so modify the tavern. Place barrels for goblins. Okay, let's look at this. What do we want to modify. Ah, see, more things have become available. So we have mud light beer kegs, which attracts humans and goblins. Mediocre weak beer, better than nothing to stimulate your imagination in the early evening and the bladder a little later. Um, we also have crappy fruit juice barrels. For humans and elves okay suspiciously suspiciously reminiscent of trash juice seems to contain remnants of fruit and then we have a meat buffet all meat dishes cooked in the kitchen also are also available for sale to customers in the tavern attracts humans dwarves drows barbarians orcs and goblins um various meats no you don't want to know where they come from especially the sausages take my word for it Vegetable buffet. All vegetable dishes cooked in the kitchen. Available for customers. Humans, dwarves, and elves. Uh, buffet of greens. Almost exclusively consumed by the elves. Okay. So. Put these barrels in over here. Do that. And then. We do. meat buffet and a vegetable buffet there should work right validate oh we didn't even need the buffets but it's fine a lot of people just kind of standing around what's wrong with people what uh where are the latrines okay you're heading into a latrine literally as you speak He's taken care of. All right, sick. Okay, play some barrels. Done! Our first keg tap. Looking good. Well, it's just some local ale for now, but we'll look around for deals on higher grade stuff. Oh, it does have kind of a sock juice aftertaste. Our ranking's starting to come up a little bit. Business is a booming. Drunks are pouring in, and we've diversified our clientele. We run an inclusive establishment, as they say. One for all, all for alcohol. All for alcohol. Perfect. And masters none the wiser. Raising your standards without letting the guards in on it? You're done for, you rascals. My report is on its way. Unless we can reach a deal. Oh, extortion. We'll negotiate. Discreetly. Okay. I don't have to worry about that. That's good. What are these? Elf origin available. Orc origin available. The strike is over. 
Oh no. All right. Oh, it's just saying that we can hire elves and orcs now. I have identified another item of non-compliance of one of your dungeon's primary sub-processes that prevents it from being eligible for exploration. Okay. Your organization suffers from chronic underinvestment in its inventory for the capabilities of tooling and other crafting appliances. A workshop? What do you... Relax. Take care of this immediately, or I'll turn you into a screwdriver. Yes, master. Ah, workshop. Place a workshop. Place two technology workbenches and hire goblin artisan. Okay. Right. Workshop. All right. Uh, workshop. Used for producing weaponry with dwarf artisans or tools with goblin artisans. The heart of all dungeons smells like fire, ash, dust, and sweat. So does this need to be big? Or be little. Not entirely sure. It needs to be some kind of big. Okay. Um. Where do I even want this? Um, not over there. Right here. Um. Now you know what? I'm gonna stick with my original idea. I think I'm gonna put it over here. And if we bring it out, we can keep a walkway of two there. That would work. Okay, this doesn't work. Or does it? Well, you know what? Maybe it does. If we put this here. <laughs> it's literally just big enough. Sure. <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> All right. It's terrible, but you know what? It works. We'll probably rebuild it and redesign it as we go. But for now, it works. Revax. Why are hammer blows echoing in my dungeon? Well, master, we built a workshop following your orders. <laughs> this won't help with my research. It generates too much cosmoplumic havoc. Well, at least I hope it'll be helpful in bringing my grandiose plans to fruition. Also screwdriver user. Okay, we've got two goblin artisans. <laughs> I will carry out a qualitative audit of this technical support structure and give you an appropriate report. It would seem you're approaching minimum acceptable standards. I mean, uh, that's like my entire life. Minimal acceptable standards. Fucking killing it. Or skating. Hmm. Holy cow! I don't know what those fun folks fuel up on, but it's no joke. Plum moonshine, perhaps? Perhaps? I'm sorry, but the fund considers your reputation insufficient to justify opening your dungeon All right. for exploration. All right. <laughs> Listen, lady. How are we supposed to raise our reputation if we can't open the dungeon? You could transfer a compensation of a few thousand gold coins to the fund. All right. Which would increase your reputation. Well, I bet it would. But, but this is blatant extortion. Facts. Reputation is tied to the dungeon's room. Select the kitchen. Uh, the prestige of a room is represented by stars. Okay. Select one of your cooks to view the information. Like ready to do stuff. Each minion, <laughs> each minion has their own expectations for the workplace. The dungeon's reputation increases if your minion's expectations are met. Is none. Okay. Where is? I love like grooming cook. ponies. Okay, expectations none. Each dungeon reputation, oh, reach re dungeon reputation of level three. Okay, what's this room at? This room doesn't. Does okay. This room has stars. This room, okay, yeah, this room has stars. Okay, so how do I like? Oh, with decor probably right. Okay. Um, put in some decor in the kitchen. Uh, what would they have in the kitchen? 
tapestries, artwork, plants, columns, rugs, statues. Okay, um, probably this stuff. Let's see. Maybe some vases, vases, vases. Oh yeah, perfect. Let's do one of those. We'll do a little chest here, like so. And we'll do wall art. Uh, let's do wall art here. Yeah. And we'll do another one here. Tapestries would probably be good too, but let's leave it at that for now. We'll see what that brings that room up to. Come over here. This room's also at only half a star or something, so let's come in here. Ooh. Meat buffet. Vegetable book. We even fit these anywhere? <gasps> yes. Perfect. Okay. I don't think that'll raise the. Candles. Break room. Ah, some comic posters, maybe? Do a comic poster there and a comic poster there. Try that. And then in this room, it has stars as well. Let's see. How many staff do we have? Domestic, two cooks, Richardson's. I feel like we should get more beds in here, right? Okay, there's that, and then uh, let's do one of those, help them stay warm. Get a dryer, um, maybe not. I think there's wall dryer, right? Yeah, wall hanging ones. Let's do one of these. Uh, put them up down here. Throw some extra comic books in here. There we go. All right, let's try that. Let's see what that does for our for our place. Got a couple of three rooms we just added a bunch of stuff to. See how that goes. Pause. What's this room at now? One whole star. What's this room at? Oh, this one's actually a star. This one is not. So let's get this one up to a full star. Um, let's add in. Add in. Um, we add here. We'll add in one of these flowers. Uh, oh, there's already a chest right there. Do a flower here. Should get this one to three. The uh, one star, I mean. Not three stars. Yes, one star there. One star there, one star there. Okay, we've got each of these rooms to one star. You're not. Um, you don't have a shower. Let's throw a shower in here. And then we'll throw in maybe... Throw in a dryer rack. And... Wall torches. Get a 
plant. Ooh, rugs. There's not a rug in here, but. Uh, let's try that. See what that gets us. One star? Yeah, okay. One star. Reach Dungeon Reputation 3. Okay, I guess we'll just keep going around and getting all of them to at least one star. Okay, you're at one star. You're not. Let's get you up. Well, um, you've got those, but you don't have a mud pit. Let's put in a mud pit. For the, um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to move you here and move you to here and then we can put in mud pit here go oh i did all that um what else do we want here empty fountain I think in plants would be better. This is a nice room for the tavern, so let's do a couple of these plants by the door. Um, do, I mean, we don't have a lot of these tapestries. Do this one. Um, go here. Try that. See what that does for this room. Okay, it's now at one star. Perfect. Tavern? Not entirely sure. It looks like it's over one sausage, so I guess it's fine. Um, see maybe the guard room? Guard room needs some work. Uh, let's see. Ooh, we've got new guards. Let's go. The humans like it clean. The uh, elves also like it clean. Let's put elves in here. I'm not going to recruit and assign one elf guard. Pony shampoo, nicely scented lotions, grandma's herbal teas, unicorn poster, you know, elf shit. All right. It says elf stuff, but I translate it. Don't worry. Put those in. Put in a, a fountain. Well, I don't think we need more guard tables. So, can't fit a fountain. We'll do... Decorative jars here. Drying rack here. Um, there you feel lived in. Run some comic posters, maybe down around the. Uh, one of those. And one of those. And then one of. Ben, please. These, these, go. Um, pillars fit? Not really, not based off what I want to add in here. No. Um, ooh, rugs. That's a good idea. Uh, let's see. Do a rug. There we go. So, like so. Then we can have guard things on the other side as well. Let's validate that and see what that brings this room up to. New week. What's this? Artisan job available, okay. We are ooh, almost up to two stars, actually. Okay, so that's looking good. Uh, your office? Your office needs some work. Let's see. Um, apps. Increase the apps. Oh, like all your medals? Dude, that's sick. Um, there. Uh, we'll give you... Weird that you don't have a bed. Wait, do you get a bed? 
Oh, yeah, you will. Ravex is dead. Okay. Put this back here. Uh, let's give you a little treasure chest. Treasure chest here. Uh, and then we'll give you... Wall torches, maybe? Yeah. Wall torches and... Flaming banners. Okay, let's try that. And in your room, almost there. Give you candelabra. You know what? You're the big boss man. You can have. Well, I would give you a fountain, but there really isn't room for it in your room. So we will give you. What am I listening to? go validate that that should work actually i want to click on you keep asking and the whip will answer okay his patience is good so that's that's wonderful uh his room is good your room is good oh man we were so close um oh you know what we should decorate the front lobby again um hallway furniture use candelabras here um let's do do some banner here And, ooh. Uh, hmm. Oh, we'll do a pillar, a pillar, and then banner, banner. Candelabra. Yep. Okay, and then I want to do a rug as well in here. Um, let's see. I can't remember. There wasn't a rug that fit, right? Yeah, there is. Um, we could do one like this. That would fit. I don't know if it looks the best. This would fit. It also doesn't look. Let's just go with the big one. Let's see how this looks. I mean, it kind of works. It doesn't really work, but it kind of works. Um, validate. If that brings us up over, not even close. Well, kind of close. Oh, dude, so close. Okay, well, we've got the entrance kind of done. Um, I guess we'll just start doing like the, the exteriors of these places with like uh, banners on either side, um, doors like this we'll do here, here. Uh, can't fit them there. We'll do one here. Rotate, please. Go, 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 there we go. Okay, we got that. Um, we'll do some torches. Oh, uh, there. Um, let's just see what that gets us. Just need the slightest amount, dude. We're so close. Okay, there we go. Reputation is increased by one level. Better than nothing. The dungeon's reputation will grow if your management is satisfactory. Okay. We need to reach reputation level 3. Reach reputation level 2. Let's try modifying this room a bit more. See if we can do one here. We can go gaming table. You know what? Let's uh, add walls. We're going to bring this one out to here that we can bring it out to. 
Um, take that. Oh, uh, and then, uh, oh, we have to wait for it to be done. I need to add a door here. Okay. Modify this room. We need a door here. And then we want gaming tables here as well. Um. Gaming table, gaming table. All right. And then we need some more decor stuff. Let's see. We can use any of these empty fountain. Oh look, like just not the right size. Uh city. Do some like benches maybe. Um You need to get moved over one, I think. There we go. That's where it needs to be. Um, benches. Bench, bench. We'll do... Full on flower there in the corner. Do something here. on either side. Try that. See how that does. Well, the game tables, torches, banners, benches, statues, flower pots. How'd that do? We got us up to the second one. Got us up to two here. Uh, a little bit over two here. So we're not quite there. I'm not sure... Okay, I guess we'll just start getting all these rooms up to two. Try that. Can't fit a fountain. This is the break room. Maybe hanging drawing racks? Try some. Hanging drawing rack there. Hanging drawing rack there. Poster here, poster here. Yeah, that's that's more like it. Um, is this a radio station? Is that what that is? <laughs> Listening to a radio station in the dungeon. Kind of funny. I kind of like it. Uh, those, no columns. Ooh, a rug, maybe? Rug here. Try that. Dude, that gets us room up to. 
Two stars? Yeah, buddy! Okay, we got that room to two stars. Kitchen to two stars? Uh, what do we have in here? What can we use in here? Um, you know what? Let's throw the fountain in. We haven't used a fountain. Um, <clears throat> we got one of those. Two. Rugs. Um, banner with a torch on either side. There we go. What does that get this one to? <clears throat> So close. Um, so freaking close. Do I do a bench? Bench? <laughs> yeah. Do that. That should get us there for sure. Okay, we're at level two. I'm curious if there's another way to gain prestige. Can I like figure this out? No. I was wondering, yeah, if there was another way to gain prestige rather than just decor, but I don't know. Um, let's see. really wants us to decorate. There we go. Alright, so this room is a two star. This room is a two star. This room is a two star. This room is a one star. What are we doing here? I'm so small, we really have to focus the uh, got wall torch. Can we fit benches under these? Yeah, let's do that. Got a flower. Let's do... Wall drying rack? That would make sense in here. Put a poster over the tub. And maybe a banner. Here. We could do a banner there with a torch on either side. No, not really. We'll do a torch here. Um, maybe what else for you? Give them a rug so they can keep their little feet. Draw off their feet when they get off the oh there. Um and then we'll throw in Uh I wanna put those in the hall. Uh let's do that. See if we can get this room to two stars. Might be enough. Ooh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah! Oh we did it. Just 
just freaking barely. Okay, you're also only a two star. Let's see if we can get you up to three. Oh, we can add storage boxes. That's okay, right? Add a storage box there. Storage box there. Not a lot of room here to work with. Um, so what I'm thinking is two here, another one here. The uh, where's the plants? Me, and here, and give me uh, let's go wall decor. We can do a lot of wall decor in here, but that's about it. Um, not sure if we already have this poster up or not. Let's those, let's, okay, I've got one of those right there. I've got that one right there. This one up yet. Let's this one here. Two. Another one here. Alright, validate. Let's see what that brings this room up to. I don't think we're going to get there. No. Almost. Oh man, so close. Okay. Uh, what else could we possibly fit? A single vase? Yeah. Really no. Um, can't really do any more floor decor, so it's gotta be a wall decor. Might be able to throw up. Oh, here we go. That should do it. Okay, Seriously? Um, wall torch. Do a wall torch on the interiors of this. There we go. Got the second star. Oh my god, that was that was rough. Okay. Um, yard room. You're close. Let's get some more for you. Um. Oh, I also just got another idea for this I can do. Um, let's, first off, let's put in uh, maybe some rug. Yeah, that'll work. Do a big old rug there. Do maybe... Okay, we've already got flowers. Got all that. Let's go with uh, something else. Let's go with... Uh, Maybe got one of those there. You know what we should do uh, is put in the other game tables I wanted here and here. They don't work. Oh, I'm out of money. Hmm. That's a problem. Uh, are we generating money right now or are we losing money? <laughs> I might have screwed us. I thought I was doing the right thing here, but oh, also this room is terrible. Forgot all about that room. Uh, I'm hoping we generate money over time, otherwise we might be in trouble. I was also, I had an idea, we should put in a second guard room. I mean, then we can get the orc and goblin guards as well. We are generating money, so that's good. Uh, if I wanted to do... Uh, why do you want me to do a dormitory? A uh, dormitory I can put in cabinets. Huh. Okay. Um, that's not what I want, though. I want to do another guard room. Basically here. It. 270? Yeah, that's not bad. Guard room there. With 
orc lockers. And goblin locker. The table. Got lights. Let's go with uh, plants. The little ones. These ones. That. There we go. And then we'll do maybe some banners. So, like so. So. Get a couple of. Uh, Comic books, comic whatevers, um, torches by the door, and throw a rug in. Not enough gold. Okay, we need 1,500. Speed up time, see if we can make 1,500. In this guard room. Take a quick second. Thank God we're still generating money. <laughs> Almost screwed us there. Oh, it shows me. This is going to be almost a three-star... Wow, that's really cool. I didn't even see that. Okay. This is going to be a great little guard room. Orcs and the goblins are going to love this place. Oh, no. We lost money because the new week. Crap. Get us back up there. Come on. Need you to generate me all the money, please. I guess we really didn't need to make this room this nice, but I've already designed it so great. I want to keep it. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. 1525, we're at 1450. 15, so close. 1510, come on. 20. Boom. Alright, it's going to go in. Keep time going. We are smashing something. <laughs> okay, there was something in the dormitory we could also do. I know we probably can't afford anything right now, but in the dormitory we had cabinets. Oh god, that's right. Our dormitory is already like full up. Maybe we should do a second dormitory. How many staff do we have? 20? Yeah, we should definitely have a second dormitory, right? Maybe right here. Let's do this, and then we just won't build it until we can afford it. But um, here, here, and I'm leaving room for two. Let's do right there. That's how big we would want it. The door Is that here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, right there. Let me do beds there, perfect. Cabinets. Do beds on the other side too. Can't do one there, so I could do a cabinet there or undo that. Um what else we do? We do like Cabinet, cabinet, 
chest. And then we add in some niceties like uh warming thing down there. We'll put a bench in here and here. Put in frying rack there. We'll put in some comics. Here, here, and here. We'll do some torches. Here and here. Banner like here. Um, and then I want to do plant here and here. Ooh, new goblin column. Okay, this will be a good room. So it's gonna cost us 1,080 to get this dormitory in. So we'll just kind of let this ride for a bit. Get the money in. Are our people happy or mad? They look happy. It looks like they're celebrating something, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. After this, we'll go around and check in on other people. We are doing really good on bringing our uh, prestige up. So it is working, whatever we're doing. We're going to go into the new week here soon, so we're probably going to lose a bit of money, but... Overall, we should be on the up and up. And then this can be a dirty room. This can be a clean room. Maybe. They said these cabinets were specifically for elves, it looked like. Let's actually look at those. So up here, these are increasing more. No, that's for anything. This is reserved for humans and elves. Yeah. We want this room to be clean. Okay, new week. We lost some money there. Prestige is still going up. Once we put this in, we should be good. We'll just leave it. It's going to take a bit. I kind of like this. It's coming together nicely. Like staff area up here. Two bathrooms. Yeah. It's coming together. I'm a fan. We're waiting on 700. Oh, we reached Prestige 3. Okay. Uh, don't do anything, because I'm trying to save up money. <laughs> we did reach Prestige 3, though. I do still want to put in this dormitory, though. I think it's going to be big for us. Then we can even downsize that one, take out... We don't need so many beds up there. We could take out some. Look, free up some room. We got 900. <clears throat> Prestige is naturally going up, too. I didn't expect that. I thought it would just, like... It was just stagnant, but... It's just also just going up from taking care of people, serving people... Okay, we are about to go into the next week. We're going to need to spend 228. I'm worried if we purchase this, we won't have the money to do that. So let's just wait. I'm not going to buy this. Even if I could. We're just going to get it just as the new week starts there. We could buy it, but I'm not going to. We're going to go into the next week where we need to spend money. There it is. Okay, so now we're down. I'm going to wait for us to go back up. Like, I want, he wants a bath. Okay, he's taking care of that. Good. There are showers in here, right? Yeah, there's a shower and a mud bath. Perfect. Okay, we're about there. We can buy it now. I'm going to go ahead and purchase that. And then this room, we're going to want to keep clean. Okay, I'm not going to click that yet. I want them to do this. Okay, there we go. We've got that dormitory. Now, before I do anything else... Um...
these goblin columns. Yeah, I think these were kind of cool. Fortunately, that doesn't work right there. It doesn't work right here. Okay, so we have to put these like. Um. Ooh, maybe at the back here might be a good area to do it. I don't know what we would do over here. Maybe we can have kind of thing with, uh, let's see this. that with uh, a couple of brochures on either side yeah I like that um, not enough money of course not enough money never enough money okay I gotta stop buying stuff but I really want to put this in because I want to try out these new goblin columns they look cool we unlocked a new thing I want to try it just need the money so as soon as we get the money, we have some a new alert here. We need to check that. We also have this. Okay. So let's put these in. Scraping the coffers. Yeah, we are. We're running low on funds here. <clears throat> there we go. It just looks cool. Okay. Uh, new alert says floor two has been unlocked. Oh my. Okay. Uh, let's it's check this. It's starting to get cramped in here. We have to restore access to the second floor. Damn it, this place is a real dump. I like it. Huh? Did I just hear you complaining about my dungeon? Uh-oh. I mean, don't you think this place could use more cleaning up? Unless... chaos? Affirmative. Waste disposal would surely improve our dominion over the perimeter. Huh. Yes, it might. Do that, then. <laughs> Where would this place be without my insightful management decisions? Thanks. Congratulations, the reputation of the dungeon is progressing nicely, and access to the second floor is unlocked. An additional floor increases the dungeon's maximum minions capacity, but also comes with an increase in management fees. The letter, the latter is included in the sum indicated in orange. Oof, hopefully we make enough. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You need a staircase. Oh god. Staircase, staircase. Uh, put staircase. Alright. Connect up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Validate. 200 gold, not enough gold. Okay. Stand by. Stand by. Oh, God. We're making money. I'm waiting on it. 200 gold. Or 186. There we go. 200. Pause. Oh, my God. Okay. I wanted to pause. Uh, okay. Access to the second floor. Whole nother floor. New areas. It looks a lot different. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. All coming together. Dude, that's really cool. Uh, how do I go down a floor? Oh, here. Oh, these are all your floors of your place. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, before we do anything, like, what's wrong with you? Bored, I stink. Okay. Yeah, we still need to upgrade this workshop room. I need to work on that. Alright. Um. What to happen? We'll see what's about to happen. Done. We deserve a spot in Tripe Advisor's best fine game dungeons ranking list. I shall study your improvements to evaluate their adequacy with the general criteria set out by the fund's equalization grids. Uh, hang on. Hey, now that the dough's rolling in, what should we do with it? Should we stuff it in a mattress, or did you have something more secure in mind? Ooh. I could ask the master no, to store money. the gold in his quarters. On the other hand, that might make it hard for us to withdraw the funds we need. And I can't spend all my time paying salaries. Yep. Especially when we don't want the boss sniffing around the books too much, eh? A treasure room is what we need. And a dwarf banker. That would keep things square. Affirmative. When wages are paid, the guards can't be swayed. Otherwise, you get desertions, looting, and coup d'etat. That's a Monday for you. May I point out that the intrinsic security of fiduciary operations can be greatly enhanced by strict segregation of premises through architectural level differentiations. Uh, what's that nutbag going on about? Second floor armor, or, uh, treasury? She says we should build a vault room in the upper floors to keep our gold safe from thieves. It's just... Admin speak. 
Build the treasure room, hire a banker. Oop. I'm pleased to announce that given the positive assessment of the evolution of your reputation rating and the concomitant fulfillment of minimum hosting standards, this dungeon is now open for exploration. Open for exploration! Ah, by your skull, finally! Yeah! Affirmative. I'll immediately put us in yellow alert. Code 22. Whoa, I'm not sure we're ready. I guess we still have some time. The Dungeons Fund has already put up a notice concerning the opening of your establishment. Oh, they're going to the raid us right now. The adventurers should be on their way. They all yearn to be the first ones. Freaking faucets! To arms! Adventurers incoming! Red alert! Code 808! Uh, face the incursion. Oh, they're coming in the back. Look at this. Oh, there's like different people. So we have a... Uh... This is the Troll Gutters of Totbag. Action Adventures. So they're no longer just vagrants. Uh, I'm to loiter. The Dwarf. A human a dwarf. An elf. Barbarian. Looks like a rogue. Maybe a barbarian, a fighter, a ranger, and a wizard. Dude, it's a full staff right here. Oh god, we didn't do too well last time. Leave us stuck. Goblin guard, are you actually guarding? Just running around. Um, we didn't really need that built, but on the plus side, hopefully killing these people will get us a lot of money before the next week, because otherwise we are not going to be able to pay our wages. And stay out here where you can see them. Oh no. Oh yeah, see him, see him. Look, bad guys. Look, look. Look, bad guys! Yeah, alert. Uh-huh. Bad guys. Where, where are you going? Turn around. Bad guys. Oh, you're like a... Oh, oh, look. Okay, so we've got at least one, two, three, four, five... Yeah, get in there! Let's go! The oblin... Oblin? The orc and goblin... The oblins. <laughs> orc and goblin guards. Oh, no. Are we losing? We just lost one? We might kill this guy, though. Yeah, get him off the archer. There we go. Archer's freed up now. Oh no. The rent the mage is shooting the archer. Oh god. Yeah, get in there. Look, bad guys. Okay, that one's down. We've got two of them down. You get healed? What happened to you? How did you get healed? Okay, one of ours is almost down, but we took him out. Got another guy on the way. Reinforcements are incoming. Goblin's like, oh shit! <laughs> Dwarms! Yeah, we did it! Did we lose two? It's the incursion. Yeah, we did it! We clearly were unprepared to face these adventurers. Yeah, we managed. It's the dungeon's fund, Master. They took us by surprise. Probably as punishment for refusing to pay to increase our reputation. By Bastards. bad dogs' whips of misfortune, I'd rather die than suffer their extortion. We must strengthen our defenses then. Affirmative. Okay. Incursion over. The adventures, vagrancy. The enemies failed. Uh, enemies killed five. We didn't imprison any. We didn't trigger any traps. We did lose one guy. But we got $500 bonus from the defensive fund or dungeon fund. Then gross patience is good. Sign. So we just got the money we needed to cover our wages. Oh, perfect. Dude, my guys are leveling up too? I'm level 2 now? Oh, you have expectations. What are your expectations? Oh, he expects at least a 1-star room, which right now you have a almost 3-star room. But we're good there. Hell yeah. Get shit on. Okay. Game is saved. I say we wrap this one up here. What do you guys say? Um, Where is our... Uh, we don't need to save under test. Let's save under... Yeah, we'll name this something different. Um, uh, for the master. There we go. Confirm. Okay. So there you guys go. This has been... Uh, 
Neb Neb Dub uh Dungeon Master. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. All the fun things to come. Um and we'll see where it goes from here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Later. Thank you.